Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. As you can see, I have posted this video earlier than usual and the reason is I needed to step and explain to you the reason why most of these signals of the weekly analysis have failed. Uh, of course, as you know, my friends, the market is based on the economic news and events around the world. And something happened yesterday after posting the video that has actually affected the US dollar currency. And of course, since all of my analysis are based on the USD dollar currency, um, uh, the growth or sorry, the weakness of the dollar yesterday has affected the market so badly. Actually, so many people lost yesterday. There was this unexpected news. As you can see, US dollar drops against major currencies, tension rises between America and China. This was posted yesterday. Therefore, we can see here, if we are reading the article, we can see that American dollar was down on Monday afternoon in London's trading session. That is after posting the video. So that was uh, unexpected what happened. And it was actually a shocking news. Um, it is actually based on the economic war between America and China. It's not going well, uh, especially now um, President Trump is threatening China again uh, about some deals. I don't want to go in the details. Uh, the other thing is uh, the American dollar got more sad news as America's Federal Reserve Chair jo uh, Jerome Powell disclosed in a separate interview that America's economy could shrink up to 30% in the quarter to 2020 that's a lot and that was actually giving more hit on the u.s currency and their u.s dollar currency therefore that is what happened as you can see the pound usd rised against the dollar AUD USD rised against dollar usd cad dropped and that is what happened of course if the dollar if the dollar currency itself is weak it will go in all the pairs and uh, it, uh, the other pairs like pound and AUD and uh, Euro, it will rise against the dollar. So that is what happened. And please, you have to understand that that is something we cannot control. I don't have control on this. So we always have to keep our eyes on the news and be prepared for such bad days. That was the reason these signals did not work. So what's happening next is we should swim with the flow and check what's going to happen uh, this week. So first of all, let's check the US dollar, uh, sorry, the Euro dollar. Now, of course, this signal is not valid any longer. So therefore, we need to cancel the signal and just see where we can start again, shorting the goal, uh, sorry, the Euro dollar. Now, actually, what's happening is that the Euro dollar is rising above that resistance level. And as I said, the dollar is getting weaker right now. Therefore, if I'm not mistaken, the US dollar, uh, the Euro USD is going to continue rising all the way up until it hit that resistance level. At that point, since it's facing also a major support level, uh, the US dollar, must, uh, the, the Euro dollar going to continue falling right after hitting that resistance level. So that being said, and looking at the daily candles, let's go to the four hour chart. And we can now expect where we can start shorting the euro dollar. And seeing the major support levels, we can see here one, two, three, and four. So we are having right here four strong key support levels, which have been later a strong key resistance. So most likely what will gonna happen is the market gonna respect this level and it's gonna reverse right at that resistance level as the as you know guys my strategy is avoiding the third at, uh, attempt but however this is this has nothing to do with the strategy this is the te technical analysis and we have to go with it so therefore i don't really think that the euro the euro usd is gonna rise above that resistance and i will explain to you later what should we do if it does so the signal should be for sell the euro dollar at the level 1.09920 and in this scenario the take profit level is going to be right at this previous support level right here so we can aim approximately 86 dollars of profit actually that's going to take a while let me just see where we can realist more realistic to set a target uh, level it should be actually right let me go to the daily candles yeah, it should be right all the way here. 
at the support level most likely what will gonna happen that the dollar uh, the euro dollar actually is gonna continue this momentum and it's gonna continue falling more down uh, as you can see uh, the euro dollar is going right now in this channel like that therefore it's gonna continue falling I don't see it rising at all at this moment especially that is facing as I said before a major or a strong key support level which was in the past a strong resistance level as well therefore that is exactly where we can start shorting the goal uh, sorry why I keep confusing the signals uh, the euro dollar and we can keep the thread running let me just see that's fair enough until this previous resistance level and I'm going to rise the entry or the take profit level right, a little bit like that that's more fair and that is your uh, take profit level take profit is gonna be 1.08645 now regarding the stop loss actually I did a mistake last video uh, first of all I did drawing uh, sorry I did draw the zone like that and I told you that you have to wait to see any bullish breakout candle if you see it closing above the uh, zone you can close the trade with the loss but there was something th that something that I was afraid of which is people gonna think that this is the stop loss and I said many times in the video guys this is not a stop loss guys this is not a stop loss but some people sadly took it as a stop loss therefore uh, I'm not gonna really put any stop loss in this scenario because those who are following me long time they know exactly what I'm talking about we guys that cannot be explained in this video however in the four hour chart since we are analyzing on the four hour chart and we are drawing the zone of the resistance we need to understand that we have to stick to the four hour chart and if we see any bullish breakout candle closed closes as a, a bullish breakout candle then you have to close the trade with the loss don't keep the trade running if you see the candle closed as a bullish breakout candle uh, because the candle actually might reach this level then go down again and closes as a bearish pin bar if that happens that means the pair is gonna reverse that's why I really don't set any stop losses and I really hate them to be honest with you frankly speaking and I just want everyone to be safe that's why I'm telling you I'm giving you this, uh, this advice um, that you should always wait for the candle to close as a breakout candle but however since this has not been understood correctly I'm not gonna set any zone right here I don't want anyone to lose more money because of me so again um, if you see any bullish breakout candle goes against you you can uh, close the trade in loss after seeing the candle closed or you can set your own stop loss I really uh, cannot uh, give you the stop loss levels on these signals let's check right now the pound USD uh, that is a line I have drawn earlier and as you can see the signal for the pound USD did not work well as uh, uh, did not work uh, as well so so what I'm expecting is the pound USD after breaking out from that resistance is gonna continue rising more up until it hit that previous resistance level now at that resistance we can finally start shorting the pound USD because as we can see we're having right here a resistance trend line and I'm expecting for the pair to actually reverse right after hitting that resistance trend line so without making this video so long for no reason let me just uh, draw for you the levels where we can start short the uh, pound USD that is perfect actually like that so we can start sell the pound USD at the level 1.23272 uh, I am aware it might take some time for the pairs to reach uh, these entry levels uh, better always be sa uh, safe than sorry and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that previous major support level right here so that's gonna be your take profit level take profit at 1.21621 and of course as I said the stop loss is again if you see any bullish breakout candle break out of this resistance trend line let's check right now the AUD USD now the same scenario happened with the AUD USD uh, the AUD is rising against the dollar the dollar is uh, keep losing its strength and ch by checking the DXY chart we can see that the, the dollar 
most likely it's going to continue falling therefore we can rely on start to short the AUD USD after 80 pips after it reached that strong resistance level that's going to be more secure level to start shorting the pair so sell for the AUD USD as 0 0.66373 I'm aware it might take a while for these signals to be active however as I said better be safe than sorry these are in my opinion uh, most reliable signals uh, can be given at the moment and we can expect approximately 196 pips of profit at the take profit level here 0 0.64350 so that's your signal for the AUD UST and hopefully it's gonna work well. Let's check right now the UST CAD. UST CAD signal of course didn't work uh, also so let me get rid of all of that and let's see where we can start actually uh, buying the UST CAD. We need to buy the pair after the dollar reach uh, this strong key support level. So that is most likely what will gonna happen. Let me just see how many pips is that. Yeah, that's almost the same. So that is exactly where we can start buying the USD CAD. Let me just be sure of something, my friends. I just need to draw some resistance lines here. Oh, sorry. Mistake. Hold on. Uh, just to, Yes, perfect. That's fantastic. Just be sure again. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So this is exactly where we can start buying the USD CAD and we can keep the thread running until it hit that previous major support level right here. So if it's rise is going to rise for almost 140 pips, hopefully going to be in profit. So USD CAD is for the buy at the level um, 1.38618. And the take profit level is going to be take profit at 1.39988. That's the signal for the USD CAD and hopefully it's going to work. Now let's check the USD GPY. Now for the USD GPY, it's not going well in the direction. It's actually continued rising. I was expecting for the pair to fall to this support level and from that point it's going to rise. However, that did not really happen for this pair. So what are we going to do next with the with the USDGPY? Actually, the USDGPY should be good for the buy. But of course, not right now. We still have to wait for the pair to actually fall more. At least, let me just uh, be more accurate. At least to hit that previous tr strong support level. As we can see, we had also two key support levels on the very same level of 106.900. 22 and since we are having here also a key resistance level so it's most likely the pair is falling right after this hit uh, hitting that level and from that point we can start buying the USD GPY and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit that previous strong res uh, resistance level let me just be sure of one more thing just uh, uh, confirm this signal if it's okay just want to be sure I'm giving you the best signals possible. It seems okay. Seems perfectly fine for me. Yes, perfect. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. Therefore, that's going to be the signal to start by the USDGPY at 106.922 at the strong support level. And you can keep the thread running until it hit that strong resistance level right here. That's enough. So we can look for approximately 150 pips of profit from buying this pair. 108.527 is going to be our take profit levels. So let's check now the USD CHF. As you can see, the USD CHF, the only signal which has worked. And that's why actually I hate this pair. I hate this pair because as you can see, it's ranging way too much. It's always going in consolidation mode. And that is ugly pair and I personally hate it so much and frankly speaking I hate CHF pair everywhere Euro CHF, USD CHF all of that I really hate it and I personally don't like to trade it at all however that's not the subject I think the USD CHF signal is actually still valid 
I don't see any stronger support level than that most likely the pair is gonna fall down also for almost 40 pips or 50 pips like that just to hit that level again of the support and then gonna continue rising so therefore the USD CHF signal is still valid nothing has been changed and the signal so far is going in profit it was the only one by the way now regarding gold gold was hell of confuse, confusion for me actually uh, the gold as you can see has made this strong bullish breakout candle the one I'm talking about and if you have placed your trade right here you should have closed your trade right here after the candle has closed and that is actually a lot of losses I'm aware I'm aware that's almost 100 pips of loss and sadly uh, it's not my fault and we cannot do anything about it however right after this breakout candle the gold has made this is interesting price action the reverse hammer and then immediately started to reverse going in the deep profit and hit exactly my take profit level and everyone knows by the way who are watching me long time this candle right here is my really favorite price action which indicates a bearish reversal when you are seeing it on a resistance level i really trust uh, this signal so much because uh, it's it's working most of the time we can see it has worked right here as well we can see that the candle occurred here and it is also a reverse hammer and we can see that the pairs the pair immediately started to reverse the bullish reversal anyway now what's gonna happen next with the gold now after this strong major fall like that of the gold most likely the gold is gonna continue falling actually uh, after this strong bearish momentum or this strong bearish candle I don't see the gold actually gonna rise we can see that the candle right here has appeared which indicating usually a bullish reversal however the pair after trying to make one candle or one full bar candle immediately the sellers took uh, control of the gold and they are now pushing it down so what we can see right here is that the, this resistance level exactly right here like that that resistance is being respected it's very strong even when the pair tried to break out of it we can see this immediately the market dropped below the resistance level therefore gold should be good for the short for short term of course only I don't like to keep the trade of the gold running for long time therefore we are gonna start shorting the gold right here uh, sell gold at the resistance 1739.04 and the take profit level is going to be at 1713.61 that's your signal for the gold let me just confirm it again I just like to confirm my signals before uh, officially posting them yeah we need to wait for the gold to rise for 71 pips before we can start shorting it again we can aim about uh, 250 pips and hopefully we are going to recover uh, the losses secured uh, at the beginning of the week again um, I would like to say my apologies for those who have failed uh, the, um, or lost money because of my signals again it's not my fault what happened the market sometimes forces us to go along with it we always need to keep our eyes on the news and the economic news or the leaders uh, statements because it actually pay, it plays a huge role in the forex market it's really important guys please don't ignore it um, I'm doing the best I can here in this channel and I'm really uh, hoping the best and hopefully I can recover for all those who have followed my signals so in the end I really wish uh, you have learned more about uh, how to find the signals in this video and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching